What goes down must come up? Hmm, that's strange. But isn't it usually the other way around? What goes up must come down? Let's see if we can figure this out. You're right, of course. If you toss a ball up into the air, it will surely come down. So what could change that behavior? It's how something is structured that makes all the difference. Take two buildings built at the same time. Their structures will affect them as the years go by. Perhaps because of poor construction methods, one of the buildings develops a large crack. Then, because of unsafe conditions, the building must be destroyed. The structure of the building caused the problem. You've probably played with a toy called a slinky that illustrates this very principle. When you release the bottom of the toy, it bounces down and then back up again, over and over. Again, the structure creates the behavior, not really a problem in this case. What causes the slinky to bounce faster or slower? What causes it to stop bouncing? You can explore these questions and more using this free online simulation available at three levels for different age groups. Each simulation has a dashboard. You can create your own spring and see what happens to it over time. Then more importantly, think about what else in the world works like a spring. To learn more or to try the simulation, visit the Creative Learning Exchange website.